Okay, so now we continue in the big holes like that. And uh, you are covering that yellow, the uh, yellow wool that's underneath. You're covering it with a stitch here so that when we get to the knot, the thing will have been covered. Sometimes you don't cover it the first time, but on the second row you cover it. I'm going to turn my needle this way so the wall is straight. Now leave the needle underneath and I'm going to cut. There we go. And I shall continue. So here uh, you see there's going to be a design. That, that petal underneath. So now we're going to do We're going to prepare the next row by doing half This is a full one and we're going to do a half one here Okay, like this. And another full one. Everything that's above the design has to be completely filled. You see here, this one is a small one, like that. It's a full one, a half one. Actually, this doesn't have to be a half. Okay, so here I made a mistake. So what I want to do is I want to pull this up and I put the needle next to it so as not to hurt the yarn. And I pull it out and I have done undone that stitch. Okay, I'm going to continue this row to show you exactly how we are going to uh, do the gobelin and the and the Hungarian stitch. This is the gobelin because we're doing the design and we're going to go all the way to the end Okay, I'm going to do the gobelin. We're going to finish the row so you can see that we're doing the gobelin and the Hungarian stitch all at the same time. Notice that I go all the way down and with my finger I go into the loop to make sure that the wool is well is looks good so now I'm going to push my needle up to it for the next row and set it aside and continue with the Hungarian stitch and you know the Hungarian stitch you skip you skip one and then we skip the big hole here and we go to this one, into that half Hungarian that we did to start with. In order to find my hole, 
fairly quickly I scratch like this. I scratch under and until I find it. Here we go. You see here my, I put my needle here and I just scratch across and end up on the right hole like this. This can be very helpful when, when you're doing small holes in a canvas and it goes faster. You find it right away. See, I'm not doing it then. And when I don't do it, it just takes longer. Okay, I've gotten to the end of to the next design here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do half of a Hungarian stitch because under underneath is the design. All right, it's green, and this is the Hungarian. So I'm do half of that and another half. Actually, it's a whole one. I have to make a decision here whether it's green. I think I'm going to make it green. So I'm going to go up one more up here, like that. Sometimes the paint is halfway across a hole and, and you have to, there, and you have to, to make, a, make a decision. All right, now this I'm go going to put it in this hole to go back. And I'm going to put it aside and continue with the gobelin. Here we are, this is one. Like that. I'm scratching across. Here you go into all the holes, remember? that is important is you want to have the row under here all straight, all the same, even, no matter what the stitch is. You want to keep the row all at the same level. There we are. Now we're going to put the needle here for the row going back this way. And we drop the... Now here what happened, I put the needle in the wrong hole, so I pull this up in the, in the side of the embroidery, towards the end, the north, and I push the needle carefully next to the wool, so you don't want to catch the wool, because the needle should have been put in this hole here. So this is going to be a half a stitch here because there's a design on top. And now we go. It is very common to put the needle in the wrong hole, so you're always changing holes. There we go. approaching a new 
Motif. So now we are going to put the next on the way back, get it ready for the next row. And here we are going to start we are going to start this yellow here. So we put the needle about an inch or so away like that with a knot on top as always. And we're going to pull the needle up here and do the the motif. Notice that on top we did already the half Hungarian stitch in order to get ready for the motif underneath. And while we're doing this we're covering that piece of, of uh, the end of the wool, needleful, so we will be able to cut off the uh, knot. There we go. Now what we're going to do is put the needle up here on the way back. I think I might just do one more. One more. Thank you.